It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, the University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Justin Nix, who is a distinguished associate professor of criminology and criminal justice at UNO. So Dr. Nix, today's question is, has COVID caused gun violence to increase across the United States? Thank you for that question, Brandon. I'd be happy to speak with you today about the recent surge in gun violence in the United States. So by some estimates, homicides increased nationally by as much as 25 to 30%. If that's right, and unfortunately we won't have official data from the FBI until the end of September, uh, but if, if those estimates are right, it means that the U.S. surpassed 20,000 homicides for the first time since 1995. That'd be the single largest year spike on record, and it would erase years of progress in terms of public safety. Just to keep it in perspective, the homicide rate remains lower today than it was in the 80s and early 90s. But nevertheless, um, it's, it's a single year spike that is a cause for concern and, and certainly uh, warrants attention to, to try to understand the causes. Um, I, I should mention that we also know that non-fatal shootings spiked in many cities as well. So, so what caused this spike in gun violence? 2020 was not a normal year, as we all know. Um, and I do think that the COVID-19 pandemic was, was likely a contributing factor, but perhaps not the driving force. So uh, consider that the spike in gun violence uh, and violence more generally was uniquely American, despite the pandemic being a global phenomenon. I think that another key contributing factor to the spike was the social unrest and the fallout from George Floyd's murder in, in Minneapolis police custody. My colleagues and I have written about a so-called legitimacy crisis of the criminal justice system, uh, which has three offshoots that are important for understanding gun violence. The first is that police officers become less likely to stop suspicious persons. Uh, either at the individual level, they make a, a calculated decision not to engage in that, that risk, or at a departmental or, or city level where agencies have disbanded or reassigned specialized units that focus on getting guns off the streets, as was the case with the NYPD's anti-crime unit. The rest of the public, as a result of the legitimacy crisis, become less likely to call the police to report suspicious activities or crimes. And then third, offending populations simply feel more emboldened to carry and use guns. They're aware that police are backing off. They're aware that the rest of the public is less likely uh, to call 911 and they just feel emboldened to carry and use their guns. And there is some evidence, uh, recent studies that have analyzed uh, select cities that have up-to-date data available uh, that have shown that the percentage of arrests resulting in a gun seized were up in the, in the summer of 2020 relative to early on and in, into years past. So that does provide some evidence that people were more likely to be carrying guns. Uh, certainly there's no one explanation for what happened in 2020. And I, I expect that it's a combination of, of factors including the COVID-19 pandemic. But I, I do think the more proximate cause was, was the unrest uh, that sparked the legitimacy crisis of the criminal justice system. Thank you, Dr. Nix, for sharing your expertise on the topic. For our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts. So if you have a question you want answered, submit it at newschannelnebraska.com. Access the experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.